Hello everyone, it is Liam, the Deaf Dude Metalhead, and today is another collection update before the end of the year. All these are brand new albums, or EPs, or demos, and hopefully you'll get a kick out of this. Yes, I have shaved my hair off, I have not joined any far right movements. It just got to the point where if you watch old videos, this bit was out of sync with this bit, and yeah, I thought, fuck it, I'll grow, I mean, this is only a week, and it's already pretty much growing back, so it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, before I start the video I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone who watches my videos. I reached 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year which is insane. Generally don't think that should happen, for me anyway. I mean, I love the fact people get involved with this channel and I get so many music recommendations and I have bands now send me albums for review and to check out and people send me albums and it's just an absolutely crazy experience and I must admit it's quite overwhelming sometimes because I don't do compliments and that kind of thing I kind of live in my own little weird bubble with my thinking and it's just fantastic and it does put a big smile on my face when it happens don't get me wrong but I, I still don't understand how but anyway thank you everyone who watches this this is all for people getting into new music nothing to do with my ego or my collection or anything like that it's purely getting the bands out there for people to check out and then you obviously go and support those bands and you know find some new tunes so me talking a load of bollocks will crack on. So the first album is a Portuguese black metal band that caught my attention purely because of their image and their last album cover from I think it must have been two years ago now was just fantastic. Never, I haven't picked it up yet, I haven't been able to find it and I thought I'll dive on this one as soon as I can get my hands on it and I did. And that is the new Guerrero album. This is called uh, Mirage. Mirage? put out through Seasons of Mist. Now, these are the kind of masks they wear, but not gold, they wear these kind of black ones with this kind of thing. These guys formed in 2016 and this is their third full length for this year. And um, yeah, absolutely stunning album. Pretty much leak carries on from where the last one uh, left off in regards to style and the sound. It hasn't really changed too much, but why would you change anything if it isn't broken? And they've been touring heavy and they've, you know, they've really put their brand out there, they're really pushing it and kind of gutted they played in Ipswich not too long ago which is about an hour's drive from here if that and I missed the gig so I was kind of disappointed with that but this is very atmospheric black metal it's intense it's emotional the vocals are really screamed and they give some real harsh emotions when you listen to the songs not like your generic kind of black metal bands which just to kind of bark down the microphone and put a load of reverb over it to kind of hide it he, this guy really does pour his heart and soul into his music and the, and the band behind him as well, like really carries it with the like harmonies, there's some nice clean acoustic sections in there that kind of layer the songs and the blasting is immense, you know, as you need in a black metal album, you need that really intense drum sound. And yeah, these boys, there's a reason why they're on Seasons of Mist. Really, really cool album, so if you haven't checked that out, strongly recommend it. it can be a bit pricey on vinyl though, if you can find it. But, you know, it's the way of the world now, vinyl is really expensive, but yeah. Awesome, awesome album, Garaya. Now this one was sent to me by What The Fuck Records over in, I think they're in Holland. And th this is an album again, no expectations, I had no idea what it's going to sound like. And it's completely out of my comfort zone, what I thought it was. But actually, I've really, really enjoyed this. This is Sense of Justice with their new album, uh, Young at Heart. Now this is a Austrian band that formed around 96 and it's a hardcore crossovering into thrash almost but this is like a proper old school hardcore band so if you're a fan of um, like Mad Ball or Agnostic Front essentially these are the Austrian version of those bands and this hits hard it's really heavy thrashy a bit of punky I guess because it's a hardcore style but for me these this was quite a brutal album it's got a lot of breakdowns and then that kind of hard hitting hardcore breakdowns which is like that early 90s sound which I quite like the newer ones were the kind of more of a punk, kind of chanty kind of style. I don't like that at all. But this shit, this is heavy as fuck. I mean, the track uh, "Pals for a Lifetime." The sound, the track sounds absolutely wank when you read the back. But as you listen to that song, it's really heavy and there's a really catchy chorus in it. And yeah, it's just good fun. Really bouncy, you know, punch people in the face kind of fun. You know, when you go to those shows and you see people just swinging their arms around and all that kind of thing, and look like absolute tits. Has that vibe to it? But there, the lads are there. And yeah, really, really solid band. And I really did get a kick out of this. This is a very fun album to listen to. 
So if you like your hardcore, and you kind of thrash as well, if you're a thrash fan I think you'll get into this. It's got some really nice razor sharp riffing in it, and you've got some heavy breakdowns and it really kind of filters it out, and it, you know, made it a really fun listen. I listen to this quite a fair bit. So yeah, Sense of Justice, go check it out, Young at Heart. Now this next one was another band that reached out to me, and I'm really glad they did, because this is a wicked, wicked, and also quite challenging EP. I think this is an EP, isn't it? Yeah, debut EP for 2022 from the band Lightless. This is a German band, and we're going to go with Funeral Doom. I think these guys will probably fit in that category. Doomy Death, kind of in that vein, but there's also a lot of kind of post-melodic kind of stuff in there, and a pinch of black metal as well. So these guys are a three-piece from Germany, formed in 2021, and this is their debut for this year. Christian here in the middle is the main uh, songwriter behind the band, I believe, and he's the one that reached out to me to check out this band. And yeah, this is a wicked, wicked, but also really musically interesting band. It's not one of those ones you can just throw on and listen to it within five minutes and you kind of get a vibe for what it is. This is one of those ones where you sit down and you have to kind of dedicate maybe about 30 to 45 minutes of your time to really sink in this band because the first maybe five or six minutes of, first, of the first track is just a jam. Very slow build up and then it gets, hits you really heavy, very guttural vocals. And then again it goes into kind of these little jam sections. It's quite like mellow, really chilled out and then it gets really melodic, very heavy. And it kind of goes between all those sections throughout this whole EP. There's four tracks. Excuse me, and yeah, really, really heavy. Nothing fancy, just a black disc in a little cardboard sleeve. But you know, this is only the debut, so it'd be interesting to see what they do if they have a full length because it's it's a band that can go in all sorts of different directions, isn't it? They're not pigeonholed into one section because on this EP, they do kind of branch out, and there's like drum sections where it's almost black metal with the riffing as well and you think well what am I listening to then it changes again and it you know it's a really cool listen really really yeah it was one of those ones that I kind of put on thinking I was going to get into it straight away and I, I didn't because I thought the jam section at first I wasn't really expecting that but when you listen to it again and then you kind of appreciate what they're doing musically it then starts to make more sense so yeah go check these guys out I'll obviously leave links to everything I'm talking about below like I always do but yeah nice one Christian that's a really really cool EP Right, this next one is a comp from two EPs that came out last year, but the comp came out this year, hence why I'm showing it in this video. And that is Acid Birth, with the EPs Pleasures of Flesh and the Divine Grotesque. This was put out through Memento Mori out of Spain this year. And these boys are a deaf doom band out of, was it New Orleans? Yes. And this is fucking amazing. I love this. You get both... AP artwork, so you've got the second one there inside, so you can kind of switch it around depending on what mood you're in. I do like that one as well. But yeah, this is thick, heavy, incantation esque kind of death doom slash death metal. It's more slow down death metal to me. There's some doomy sections in there, but I would go with these guys are just a straight up death metal band to me. But uh, Metal Archive says it's death doom, so you have to say it's death doom, right? But yeah, this is wicked. Really, really cool comp. A uh, band I never heard of before. I just kind of picked this up out of a distro. I think it's Cavernous Records, actually. Yeah, I like the uh, description of it and the artwork. And yeah, Memento Mori is a fantastic label out of Spain. It put out loads of wicked re-releases. So you know, always, you know, I can kind of happily buy, blind buy from. I think it's Raúl. His name is, and you know, he always delivers. So yeah, wicked, wicked, wicked comp. I'll leave a link below, and you can tell me how much you like it as well. Sticking with the comps. This is a split, really. Uh, this is, oh no, we won't do that one now, we'll do this one actually. So I'll bring out some cassettes because I need to show these off because these are really cool. This is a UK band uh, based out of, I think, Basingstoke Way, and that is Roots of the Old Oak with the uh, demo Blot, which was put out through Hammerheart Records. Cassette is very simply a black cassette there. Now, this is wicked, this is really, really cool actually, I really like this. So this is a band that formed the former members from the band uh, Slaughter of Souls, if you remember them. They were around the 2000s here in the UK and they were kind of like a black and death metal band. I think they were also in another black metal band by memory. But they've now formed this band, I believe this is a free piece. And this is Death Doom, 
kind of in the vein of it varies because the fr the four tracks on here one is just a straight up instrumental which is only 45 seconds and it kind of starts this demo and it, it doesn't really get you going or anything like that it, kind of, it sounds really cool and then it suddenly just changes into the next track and then uh, you get one and it's got I think it's a HM2 pedal the tone of the guitar sounds like it's HM2 to me but I could be dead wrong on that and then one of the songs especially I think it's the third song it reminded me a lot of Dismember's Casket Garden it has that riff tone and the way it bounces around and the style and I love it, I absolutely love it and that, I think it's because it reminds me of that album is it Massive Killing Capacity you think it is? I think it's off that one and it's just a wicked wicked track and then it finishes off quite slow, quite doomy the band kind of goes into the kind of My Dying Bride, Turn Loose the Swans kind of style as well which I really like obviously so if you haven't checked this out I would strongly recommend you do. I think it only came out on cassette for Hammerheart, which is unusual, because I thought there would be a CD copy of it, and I might be wrong, there might be, but I haven't seen that. And yeah, really caught me by surprise, blindly bought this, because it wasn't very expensive, so if you're in the UK, I'll obviously leave a link below. Or even if you're not, go check out their band camp if they've got copies left. Go pick one up, or you can get it from Hammerheart Records. So yeah, check that one out. Roots of the Old Oak Blot. Right. And I'll talk about the split that I absolutely adore. This is a fantastic split from two heavyweights of this style of music. So this is the Ritual Necromancy and Fossilization split put out through Everlasting Spew this year. So this is a well, well. So Ritual Necromancy is a death metal band out of Portland, Oregon, and they they have they put out. I've got an album from theirs from 2018, and it's absolutely fantastic. Wanna. One I put on it quite a lot actually, and they're a really really heavy band. They've only put one track on this split, and it's just one long solid doomy death metal number. It's just really heavy, it's brutal, slow, atmospheric. And then Fossilization, they're a newer band from Brazil. I think they put out a EP maybe 2020 or 2021 that I they've got over there. It's absolutely fantastic. And these guys have got I think two tracks on this split, and again doomy death metal. Atmospheric, it's heavy, these two bands suit each other really well, so you can see why the splits happened. And it's just fucking fantastic, like, it really, really is. Really, my kind of style of music. No brainer for me when I got, I managed to find a copy of this. So, yeah, absolutely wicked release from two bands that are proper, chasmic, heavy death metal with doomy touches to it. So, I would imagine most people who watch my videos will know these bands, especially Fossilization because they're a newer band, but if you haven't checked out Ritual Necromancy, Please do, because they are a wicked, wicked band. Right, next one is a black metal band from Germany. This is in the kind of satanic, evil, occult kind of style of black metal, and it is Luna Chalice with the album uh, Transcendentia, The Shadow Pilgrimage. It's put out through Iron Bonehead. And again, this is a black metal where it's very blasty. A kind of chanty vocals in that kind of a cult satanic vibe where you kind of feel like they're doing a ritual around a big pot and you know it's very very cool I really like this album a lot got an old geezer there stuck in some kind of cube um, don't know what's going on there but yeah wicked wicked stuff so yeah like it's just it's hard to kind of say this doesn't this doesn't stand out from other black metal albums I must admit this year this is kind of kind of knitted into the uh, quite a few I've listened to this year actually of that style where it's very atmospheric but not in a melodic way it's more in the the atmosphere they're creating it's kind of satanic dark evil kind of sound to the whole album and it's you know a really good listen but you have to be in the mood for that kind of style of music it's not one you can put on when it's like sunny outside or something like that it just wouldn't work you have to have it kind of in a, a, a right frame of mind to listen to it is what I'm trying to say but these guys formed in 2019 and this is their debut full length so well worth keeping an eye on this band I think there's an EP or something before this maybe I can't remember but yeah Luna Chalice with Transcendentia awesome album right this is another band that sent me their album to check out and review on this channel and again another one I would never would have looked at or had no idea who they were or anything like that so it was a nice surprise for me this is the band Catapult with the album Play Stupid Games, Win Stupid Prizes from uh, the label Discouraged Records. So this is a 
I think they're a Swiss band. Yeah, they're a Swiss band that formed in 2017, and this is also their debut for this year. And this is a melodic death metal slash thrash band, and it it was surprisingly very very good. I wasn't expecting anything from this, so I had no idea what I was going to get into. The album cover, the smiley face on here and all that. I was, I assumed it was Stone of Doom at first. Dead wrong. Absolutely dead wrong. This is in the vein if you're like a fan of At the Gates, The Haunted. It reminds me of those kind of bands to a point, but they're also this is very thrashy as well. It's got some razor sharp riffs, some nice chunky breakdowns in that kind of thrash style, like an early Sepultura kind of vibe to it. But then also mixed in with the kind of Swedish mellow death scene as well. So you can combine the two of those, the thrash and the mellow death, you kind of get where this band is coming from. With the kind of the vocal range is very much a barked kind of shouty style as in the thrash style but then there is some kind of growly kind of death metal-esque vocals in there as well but you can understand all the words so it's probably this will probably appeal to quite a lot of people who are a bit more open-minded and not so much into the really heavy shit they're more into the aggressive riffing and this has got loads of that loads of big riffs and yeah really really cool album and I was very surprised by this I mean the best track for me was probably uh, has it gone? Nihilism for the Gods, Hands of the Devil, I like that one a lot as well. And Lit Litany of Spirals, I think that was the main one for me. That's kind of like a, like a, I don't know how to describe it, this this kind of style of riffs I like, where it kind of rolls along really nicely. I'm talking bollocks, but yeah, go check these guys out. Really, really cool band. Really, really cool. Right, near the end now. So there's some Scottish thrash now. I don't normally show any thrash, but some reason it's happened this year that it's kind of slowly coming back into the collection and these Scottish band Tempered with their I think it's their demo for 2022 they did an EP a couple of years ago and this was put out through Stay Macho Records out in Glasgow from my mate Ken in uh, Brain Bath and these guys it's just no nonsense fresh if you're a fan of Sepultura I mean there's even a Sepul Sepultura cover on the end there of Arise that they did live but you've got three tracks there, just no nonsense, fuck you, straight to the point, thrash metal. It's chunky, it's riffy, it's got that Arise era Sepultura kind of style, so you can see why they did the cover of that. And it, you know, it's just heavy, really, really heavy. There is the cassette. As you know, my cassette player, uh, tape deck, is broken, so I've been streaming this through Bandcamp, so I can talk about it. I just can't play the actual tape. But yeah, these boys, you know. Just no nonsense, J card looks like that. We've got some pictures of the lads in there. And then you've got your lyrics and all that stuff on the back there as well. But yeah, so I imagine these guys are fairly active. So if you're in the underground scene up north in old Scotland, you've probably seen these guys about. So yeah, hopefully they come down south to the uh, sunny parts of the UK. So yeah, tempered, really, really cool wasn't expecting anything that again I kind of blindly bought it because I support Ken's label and he told me it's good gear so yeah he's right it's dead good gear so yeah wicked tempered and last one this was actually sent to me part of a bigger package and I wasn't actually going to show this but when I realized it came out this year and I've been listening to this a lot I thought I better feature it on this video so this was gifted to me from my friend Pie Face and this is the band Peasant with their debut EP The Lone Wolf which came out through Blackwood Productions here in the UK. This is a two-piece from the north of England. I don't know where exactly. But Steve Blackwood, who runs the label and is in a bazillion black metal bands here in the UK, Count Blood... Uh, what's it called? Blood Test? I can't even remember what the fuck it's called. But I know he's in... Uh, you know when you think about it and it doesn't come in your head? He's in a ton of black metal bands. You'll know who it is when I put the links below. But Steve's a cool guy, and I like his music a lot. And this... It was a free track uh, EP that I had no expectations. It's a CDR, you know, DIY as fuck. But this is amazing. This is this is actually really really cool. Like very very riffy, very punky kind of angry lo-fi black metal. But it's not lo-fi to the point where it sounds like someone's sucking off a vacuum. It's more, it's just raw and nasty, and it fits the mood of the songs really really well. And I really got into this. I had this on in the car a lot on my few kind of trips to work where I've known I'm not going to be in the car too long. I've just grabbed this, put it on, 
and it just goes. The last track is probably the slowest one, and it's got a little doomy kind of black metal vibe to it, which I really obviously like. I'm a doom fan. But Steve's creating something new. His vocals are fantastic, really harsh, really raspy, and it fits the mood of the songs perfectly. And the drummer as well, he's shit on this. It's really, really good. So, yeah, really surprised with that. So, thank you, Simon. I've got a massive box of stuff to show from Simon. Um, he always, you know, sends ridiculous gifts. But that was one of the newer things in there, by memory. And I really, really like that. So, I'm going to keep my eyes on these guys now. Because Steve does loads of stuff. There's loads of stuff I need to pick up from him that he's done throughout the years that I really enjoy. Now, I'm kind of really into my black metal. So, yeah, go check out some Peasant. That was really, really good. So, yeah. Hopefully you dig all that. Go look at the links below and tell me what you think. Thank you again for everyone who supports this channel. I generally do mean that. Probably going to do something really cool towards the end of the year. I've got my end of year lists pretty much all figured out. And I'll do them probably just between Christmas and New Year. Because my mind's not going to change now. And I know a lot of people have already done theirs and have watched theirs. And luckily a lot of the stuff they've shown that I haven't got on my list. Which is quite cool. So it's keeping my mind open. And again, I'll probably do a silly video right at the end of the year, if I can. I did say I was going to try and eat some food and talk to people online, which seems retarded to think even doing that, but for some reason that's quite a popular video to do, so we'll see. In the meantime, take care, and I will speak to you guys in the comment section below. Cheers.